Can Christians have unclean spirits in them? The answer to that is yes. Now, when you look from Genesis to Revelation, there is nothing that says that a Christian, a born-again believer, cannot have unclean spirits within them. Uh, it is very possible for this to occur, but it's important to understand the uh, that when unclean spirits are in a born-again believer, they are not possessing the born-again believer. The Holy Spirit is the one who possesses us when we are born again, have believed Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, and repented of our sins. However, they come to oppress us. And that is why if someone is enslaved in a certain state, they're compelled to always do something. They constantly are having these intrusive thoughts. It is not from the Holy Spirit because we know that the Holy Spirit uh, is the spirit of not of fear, but of power. He gives us power. Uh, love and a sound mind. A sound mind is not going to always be thinking about intrusive thoughts. And so if this is a habitual state, there are obviously certain things on a chemical basis, hormonal level that can occur. There are certain trauma from our past that can trigger this. But if we have worked through those things, it is very possible that there is an unclean spirit. So for me, uh, a humbling story is you know, I struggled with uh, masturbation for up until about the age of, I want to say 21, I think was when the last time it happened. And it was chronic and I was enslaved to it. I knew it was wrong. I knew it was a sin. I wanted to get out of it, would pray and weep before God. And it, ju it just kept happening. I was enslaved to it. I, I did not want to do it, but it was an addiction. And so uh, after uh, trying everything for months and months and months, even for like a year, or two um, of really trying to get away from it, I then found a deliverance prayer from Derek Prince and he began to pray. Uh, obviously I had to repent of everything and, and go before God and then he started to pray against unclean spirits of the topic where no one ever wants to talk about and that's sex. And sex is a beautiful gift from God. Sex uh, is made by God. He gave all the sensations. It is a beautiful thing and in this culture, uh, that Satan wants to ruin everything that's good, and it's sad that many people have such a bad view about sex. Obviously, it's to be done within the proper biblical marriage setting of a male husband and a female wife, uh, but it's important to know that sex is a gift. And so, uh, but when it came to ma <clears throat> masturbation, he started uh, speaking against the unclean spirits of lust, of pornography, of masturbation. And as, as he began to speak against masturbation, I remember listening and I began to scoff at the video and had this laugh. And then all of a sudden I had this, pr it felt like this presence left me and I had a burning sensation in my hand. And since that day, uh, I have not masturbated nor have I had the desire to. So it's been six to seven plus years, um, which is just miraculous. And so it is very possible that born again believers can have an unclean spirit. And I was saved then, I was saved at the age of six, I was born again, I received the Holy Spirit. And, um, and so it is very possible. And so if you are wanting to get rid of a certain state, mindset, addiction, thought, uh, words, and it just keeps coming uh, and it keeps happening, there is most likely an unclean spirit at play. Now, obviously we don't wanna go directly to that. We wanna uh, figure some certain things out. But if you were like me and you were just like, God, set me free from this, please. I acknowledge it's wrong. I know it's sin. Help me. Uh, and, it's, and we're not getting free. It is most likely an unclean spirit that needs to be spoken out against directly. And in the name of Jesus, we want to cast that thing out because we know the name of Jesus. Demons shudder at. And Jesus, when he was walking this earth, the, the legion of demons, which is 6,000, in one man, they he they asked, please, uh, I, th I think they called, uh, yeah, they said, please put us into uh, the swine and the pigs. And Jesus, all he had to say was, go. And they listened to him. So the name of Jesus has tremendous weight. There, we know that there's la life and death and the power of the tongue. And when we're speaking life, when we're speaking the name of Jesus against unclean spirits, they cannot uh, stay in us and they have to flee. But the question is, is are we willing to recognize that this is a reality? Again, you can spend all the time you want. Genesis to Revelation, there's nothing that says a born again believer cannot have an unclean spirit. We even saw Mary, when she was a follower of Christ, she even 
had to get, once again, unclean spirits casted back out of her when she was in a state of following Christ um, due to backsliding. And so this realm is very real. It's not one that we're uh, very educated in because not many people uh, are discerned by this, but it is a very real realm. The scriptures clearly speak about it. Um, and we know that it wasn't just for that day. There was no such thing as casting out of unclean spirits as far as what the Old Testament reveals uh, in the Old Testament. However, we know that one of the greatest differentiations from Jesus uh, compared to the, the prophets of old is that he came having the authority to cast out demons and unclean spirits. And so may we just recognize this as the truth and reality. May we assess, you know, we're not to, God does not want to keep us in certain things that are hindering our walk with him. There's going to be struggles. Yes. There's, are there going to be times where we fall? Yes. Are there going to be times where we sin grievously? Yes. But if this is a habitual addiction or state of living and thinking is most likely an unclean spirit. And we need to recognize this and take the proper steps moving forward and saying in the name of Jesus, speaking to that very thing, any unclean spirit of lust, any unclean spirit of pornography, any unclean spirit of drunkenness, of anger, uh, of envy, of pride. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. I loosen you. In the name of Jesus, I bind you and command you to get out. When we pray like that, uh, we can most certainly be set free. So hopefully this video was a blessing. And may we just uh, not say we have an unclean spirit first and foremost right up front. But may we discern that this is very much a real possibility that we need to address um, as unclean spirits come to steal, kill, and destroy. But we know Christ came to give us life and life more abundantly.